quite overwhelming, isn't it? <laughs> I'm about to go into seven tips of uh, creating a perfect organized event. So stay tuned, Peaches Gang. I'm about to say my cue right now. Hi, Peaches Gang. Welcome back to my channel. This is Nico Peaches with you. And I'm back again with another banger video. You all know it. I am Nico Peaches. If you're new in this channel, please subscribe okay um this channel is all about hot topics and entertainment and also i want to say there's so many event planners event managers out there who are creating beautiful sites if you're an event planner event manager comment down there tell me which events um this is my instagram uh, page it's a business page and i want it to be full of beautiful works and create something worth remembering you know you want to leave a legacy knowing your audience so if you know your audience is either elderly people you know i don't know why i've started with elderly people but um there is elderly people there is men women you know you can host event for for kids, children, teenagers, preteens, creating a plan, an action plan for for your event. So you can host a celebrity as part of your your audience. An attendee can be a celebrity. And here in Kenya we have so many celebrities. Show a forum where you can find professional people that are attending is a mixture of men women children all of them all together mostly in wedding events so knowing your audience you need to create the perfect space for them to to feel comfortable to take into into consideration the space the space of the of the event of the venue which really matters Second tip uh, for a perfectly organized event, defining your value proposition. Um, when I say this, I mean clearly state or create a statement where you can give to your clients it's what your product and services are all about. Basically, you're advertising or stating like, what your brand brings out so this will make the clients or the specifically the clients the attendees although they don't really need to know uh, more about your brand you you just need to expose it to them setting up your social media correctly there's so many platforms which you can use so twitter i, I will i would want i have to open a Twitter page, an account, sorry. Um, there's Facebook, there's Eventbrite. You can create an event page over there and um, invite attendees to, to, to see the page. So there's also different platforms like Periscope where you, 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 you have a live, you know, a live video session with, you, with your attendees even linked in for people to to acknowledge your experiences as for me i am new at this and i am I'm, I'm very very confident that i will acquire very like experiences out there are open for everyone to to indulge in and why not why fear you know so the body language that you give out there also matters. The nonverbal cues, you know, can can either push your client away or bring them closer. So with that mind, with that in mind, then you will you will act right. Finding the right venue, my people. Um, venue matters a lot. Look at that. Venue, I'm telling you, building structures, the whole thing. You can just, if you have a good eye, 
that it's really also important hosting hosting small events or private events intimate events then you would need to think of a venue that most suits that event so you just can't put it next to the sea at you holding that event next to a, a shore you know that doesn't make sense uh, professional people can also hold their, their their meetings so venue matters and space as I've said before make your budget go further there are events that are really they are designed to to create a loss and there are events that are designed to create a profit like f creating a profit um, an event like fundraising and holding galas sports events you know this can bring out some profit in some instances where you they create a loss is um, is wedding events you know um, corporate events marketing launches um, birthday parties so when you are trying to, or not trying uh, event planning then you need to have a budget in mind, a reasonable budget, and most importantly, staying within the budget. After finalizing um, the, the details of the events with your clients and your budgeted um, with the client, then it's necessary to create a, a further budget. All right, when it when the events there's some events that don't go as planned but it's good to have a backup plan all right so you don't get to be stranded and that's really important to have to further your budget to man manage that too and create create a stable approach yeah promoting your event your event online really matters um when it's online it's to the world it's it's exposed to the to the world okay and uh, when this is done then people are aware about the event that you're hosting they can bring the press they can involve the press and when the press is involved then it benefits the client and you yourself as an event manager or an event planner the, the videographer, the, a photographer, to take each and every moment out there and share it to the world. So with this done, then it creates a perfectly organized event and also having the license, the permit. When you're licensing your event, you know, when you are, promoting your event to the world especially if you're serving um, I, I don't want to say okay there are fundraising events that involve um, selling of alcohol obviously you need to have a permit for that uh, or if you're not selling then you don't need a permit all right there are strict rules when it comes to hosting or holding an event these seven and the most important making the event memorable at the end of it all you'd want people to talk about it and you'd want your clients to stick by you for the next event you know if you're holding an event yearly monthly weekly you know there's some events that are hosted yearly like New Year's um, like Christmas, you know, Valentine's. So those type of events, you'd want your, your clients to still be with you. Having insurance where your clients don't feel they are at a loss. An emergency backup plan, you know, when your budget runs short, short <laughs> in other words. I'm really like talking too much. I want to 
to really emphasize on the seven tips and you see making it memorable is really important it's leaving a legacy people will talk about you as i'm imagining myself it will make me feel so so great so purposeful you know um so with that said peaches gang i really thank you guys for sticking it with me stay tuned on my next project it's gonna it's gonna be entertaining for you guys i love you guys keep it safe you know i was about to say keep it tuned but i've said it so many times um and i love you guys uh subscribe if you haven't all right Bye.